Hello everybody and welcome back to Surviving Mars. Now, very, uh, very excited for this episode. Uh, and also, also not. Now, uh, I feel ashamed to admit this, but it happened again. I recorded one episode and then realized uh, something went wrong. So there was no, no video at all, just me talking. And the game audio, of course. Uh, I tried to go back to the previous save and I was like, okay, well, it's fine. It's only half an hour. I can just, you know, re-record it. But, uh... Yeah, I had accidentally saved over that one. I feel very silly about it, but <laughs> oh well. Um, we um, that means I'm just gonna have to well maybe spend like a minute just to just to um, go through everything we did in the last episode. We had uh, uh, let's start with the disasters. We had quite a few disasters. Uh, we've been calling down meteors like like crazy. They've been coming down, and uh, we managed to. Uh, uh, managed to do some research. Besides the meteors, we also got a uh, cold wave that's uh, currently happening and those dust devils are just constantly everywhere. So talking about research, what we what we finished was um, we did the eternal fusion, we also got the uh, larger water tanks done, we um, uh, we got the moisture vaporators and uh, what is it? A service pods. Um, I kind of feel i could have i wish i could have re-rolled to the to the previous save because i've I've also realized that doing eternal fusion and uh, service bots is is kind of useless for me because both of them uh well uh, service bots you have to upgrade the buildings to use the service bots and that takes about 10 electronics which we which we don't have uh, with the with the eternal fusion um that would be useful if we could actually build the uh, nuclear fusion, but it's the same thing with this one. You need uh, 15 electronics to build one, and um, unfortunately, we, we we don't have them. Now the um, so that's the downside. Now the upside, however, is that uh, that's an additional two breakthroughs that we have uh, completed. And now I've already just before starting, uh, I started recording. Um, I've also rearranged our research priorities over here. So the first one will be dome bioscaping, which is gonna improve the uh, comfort. And then secondly, um, the, I, I thought I'll do the decommission protocol, just because it's a quick one. It's only gonna gonna take a little bit over one soul, and it also means if we need to rearrange any of the buildings, we will be able to do so. And then the last three over here will be breakthroughs. Um, let me let's let's see. So if we go in this view over here, the mission goals, and have a look at the uh, last one, research nine breakthrough technologies. We've already done six, and with the three that I've queued up, that will bring us to nine, which means we are going to get three billion. And that three billion, I will invest uh, into electronics. Now let's check the people are still the same. Yep. Let me just lock them just in case anything uh, gets messed up because it seems sometimes things tend to, to go wrong okay oh almost showed you what's over there so uh, yeah that's the research part i think we can uh, go to the next part now which is uh, i'll show you what we built okay here we are i'm really sorry that i couldn't show you guys um how we got this far it was it was a lot of sweat and tears and blood that went into this like the amount of times the dust devils wrecked our um, rovers over here. It's just just crazy. And uh, literally, this very same dust devil kept going around in circles. We repaired something, then it came and broke broke it again. We we wasted quite a few electronics as well just to repair the scrubbers, but we did get there. So what we have here, we have four moisture vaporators, and I made sure that they're not overlapping, so we're not losing any of the water production. And I have, it seems, upgraded only two, but I want to upgrade all three of them. So we max out our water capabilities. We also, it was a must, it was a race against the time, actually, uh, to get the uh, the basic infrastructure, such as the power and the, um, the water production, and then the, what's it called, the subsurface heater on as well, because there is a cold wave right now. Um, and I didn't want to, you know, waste any electronics having to repair the scrubbers uh, later on. So we, we did make it. Uh, it was very close. I think we had only like six hours left before we built everything, but it's all good now. Then secondly, we started expanding our 
uh, power capabilities because um, I think we had some sort of an event as well where every th um, 10 power producers were disabled for three days. Three souls, I'm sorry. Um, we've got this large tank over here which is slowly, uh, slowly but surely building up the water in here as well. And um, yeah, and then uh, we built a few, a few of those wind turbines and I've also upgraded them just to make sure that we are power positive. We have one of those accumulators over here, uh, which is which is doing pretty good. It's it's keeping us afloat. And uh, we also, I think the last thing we also looked at was trying to squeeze in uh, an extra dome in here. So uh, yeah, in this episode, what I'll do is I'll think we'll we'll start by measure well trying to measure measure this out again i think we did find a good spot where we wanted to place so it has to be online i want to get it online in line with uh, two of the let's see the uh, the vistas over there is it covering two uh, it doesn't tell us during the cold wave but yeah essentially this was the location where we will want to build this so that way we can build like a like a um, passage over here as well to to connect them up and um, I think it it just about makes it it's like one more if I shifted it by one one hexagon it wouldn't be long enough but if we place it here uh, in the range of two vistas I think it was in the perfect spot over here so we are gonna reserve this um, now anomaly uh, analyzed Nice. Okay, so we'll check this in a. We'll have a look a look at this in a second. But for the time being, uh, we will get ready for the um, for the colonists. I do want to bring them uh, to Mars very soon. So I think, yeah, let's build. Let's see. Um, we do want to put a landing pad so that the rocket could land right next to the domes and not kick up too much dust. Oh, I think it was here. Okay, so we still have quite a bit of space, which is good, because um, that means we can maybe move it a little bit forward. Let's face it this way, so the passage is going to go from there, so one. And maybe like so. Let's check it again with the, with the dome. Uh, actually, let's not pause. Let's put it on one speed for now. Okay, so dome. Oh, yeah, this is going to be perfect, I think. Maybe we'll have to spin it around. No, yes. Yeah, I think once we build it, um, we'll, we'll probably place it over here. Cool. Okay, so we'll, um, we'll keep this area free of construction. And uh, we... Um, we're gonna build this landing pad here for the for the colonists to arrive, uh, arrive. and uh, I did think like, okay, we're we're not gonna cheat, and um, you know, um, I don't know if I can call it cheating or exploiting or whatever it is, um, but we're not gonna build the landing pads around this whole area to block ourselves off uh, this time. And I think I should probably get rid of them as well, but it's it's there and it's 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 fine. We've done it. And we can't take it back anymore. But I think in this location over here, we we're not gonna do we're not gonna use that strategy. Um, yeah, so they will start building that. Um, we will probably need more resources, so then we will start building up the dome, and then we will send the um, colonists from uh, from Earth over here as as well. So wait, where are you? Okay, can you? Um, let's see. Let's uh, try and get as many as we can. Everything, and please bring it here. Another thing. Oh yeah, I think we should do. Uh, which I already, well, kind of did, but at the same time I didn't, um, is reconnect this so that way we can have, let's see, uh, we can have the, the rovers go through. So maybe something like this. Sector scanned. Good. So that means I can take this one out, like so, and the rover should be able to go through right so we missed the message on the anomaly um well i think it reveals some more technologies over here so let's have a look this this might be new i think that one oh i can't remember what we already had here oh well yeah that's okay 
cool so cold wave for another let's speed up the time cold wave for another two uh, souls and one hour and it's uh, ticking down fairly fast i think uh, next thing do we have an mts here we do have an mts here uh now what else should we do these are all upgraded which is beautiful now let's let's check the power as well so that's charging 50 per whatever the measurement is is it per like a um, mars hour or i don't know but okay so we the power seems fine water is five right now it's gonna go up to six once the cold wave is over and uh, let's see our o2 in here as well seems to be not working because this is off let's turn you on we'll fix you it only takes a couple of metals and that is okay now i think the another research that i may want to do is uh is the one where we could just send the drones not the drones the rovers out you know on uh, on a put them on an automatic uh, setting essentially i'm feeling very blind but i think it is somewhere here no nope new building drone hub um unlocks new automated mode okay so that's the one i wanted to so it is 4050 okay so maybe maybe just maybe we'll do it after this sustained workload is is complete but for the time being i think uh, we don't have to be so lazy and we can do it manually i mean we do have a lot of um, stuff to gather here anyways now another thing i was thinking of doing is maybe we could send out this this rocket one more time let's see right now we were searching Tone bioscaping and it's it's 4500 so it's gonna take a long time yeah i'm thinking maybe after the um, cold wave is over we'll send out another planetary mission since we do have quite a bit of um, fuel stacked up and um, i mean we only have one mts here but um i have faith and uh, well you know hopefully Hopefully, um, hopefully we'll make it. I mean, we should be able to fend off some meteors. How much did it cost to build another one? I mean, I would feel a lot safer if we had one more. But, and there is a spot here, actually. Uh, but the thing is, it's five electronics. I... I'm so worried about spending them. But then again, if a meteor lands here, we're going to have to use, you know, maybe one or two electronics anyways. So, I think it m might be worth it though. And if the meteor gets through, it, it's not just going to break, you know, one scrubber. It's going to, it's potentially going to break the things around it as well. So, um, yeah, I think that's, good enough wait what happened to you okay um you know what rc commander come over here let's let's fix him yes you are gonna be alone for a little bit but that is okay i don't think we need to move any resources around here anyway so uh that that should be should be fine uh, i don't really know what happened here maybe a oh, the dust devil must be. Because we didn't hear any meteors coming down. Okay, 16 hours on that. So you can come back now. Just come back over here. You Let's set you up again. And bring those resources here, please. Oh, he only managed to um, collect like one. Before breaking down on us. So that's okay. Let's have another look. Maybe we've missed some an anomalies. No, that's a vista over there. Okay, so no more juicy anomalies for us. However, we can... Well... Um, queue up some sectors. No more. Okay, that's alright. Uh, 
We're almost done with uh, with all the sectors. Sector so. scanned. Anomaly oh. found. Anomaly. Okay, let's go and analyze you. Very nice. And then once you're done, to come back home and hide in the safety of our initial little base there. Um, cool. Okay, so I think it is time. Let's start also. How much concrete? Um, you know what? We don't have enough concrete right now in this location, but let's start just moving the resources in there. And then maybe if we even move the rover over here, we could start picking up them them ones as well. Oh, how are I, yeah, we, we didn't even actually have to do this. Yeah. Okay, cool. So the cold wave is over, which means we can turn both of them off. Uh, did it work? Yeah, it worked. Nice. And power is fine over there as well. And uh, we'll start building, uh, building up the dome then. Uh, let's see, where is our... Okay, cool. So he's bringing up bringing us a full load of 25 metals and 5 polymers which is very nice I think I will set you on a new route though uh, once once he is done there we go pick up uh, bring concrete and bring it over here please uh, let's wait let's do it again oh from here concrete and directly over here cool so then we'll have enough concrete to finish the um, construction over here as well because we, I think we only have like yeah there's only 15 left so so that's good um, now we have water that is building up we have oxygen here as well and we have power I think mm, I just realized it's not connected so let's connect it up like so and I think it's safe now to take this rocket and bring our lovely lovely colonist colonist to to Mars and um, it's kind of like uh, Sweden uh, expanding their they're uh, starting their own little colony because uh, there are a few. Okay, there there was a German over here, and there was someone from uh, Charlotte is is from France. Uh, let's see, there's a uh, someone from the UK, but the rest rest of them are all from Sweden. So cool. Let's uh, let's launch it. Yeah, we should be fine. Let's launch it. Um, uh, I have faith, and uh, we should be able to build this, uh, but also. Oh, let's, let's bring you closer. You know what? Let's bring you closer. So you don't have to go all the way to, to charge yourselves. What are you? Okay. Yeah, let's have you here. Why can't they just go through this? Like, technically nothing here yet. Okay, so now they can charge right over here. Oh, anomaly. We just found Beagle 2. Or oh. at least what's left of it. Right, so over the years... Over two-thirds of the missions uh, sent to Mars and then in disaster, the tragic course of events at attributed to bad luck, human error, or simply to the inevitable inevitability of shooting blind in the dark. I had created a dark humor revolving around the great galactic coal, which feeds on exploration probes and the mystery of the Martian triangle. Right, so Beagle 2 has failed... Oh, that is actually a very good one. It reduces the cost of robotic um, decks uh, by a 10%. And I think we already had a discount on that. Yeah, so that is 20% now. Although, it doesn't look like it's reflected on this one. Oh, that's engineering. That's why. Okay, so that means uh, Rover Command AI is, is down to 3,600. I think it was like... 4,000 something when I when I looked at this before so that could actually be very nice is there anything else useful over here okay so we have the machine parts okay uh, factory over there as well cool so um, the first uh, humans uh, they are 10% done on their um, journey to the Mars that is uh, that is beautiful um, we, 
If only we could get this dome up and running a little quicker as well. Uh, that would be even better. Uh, no. Yep. Oh, I think the reason why it stopped is so our... No. Ah. Uh. Well, that's pretty much what happened in the uh, in my previous recording that I kind of you know failed. But um, okay, we should have enough uh, concrete over here for the time being. So we'll wait for him to disappear. Then we'll bring the rover closer. We'll repair him, and then we'll we'll start putting some buildings in inside the dome. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, you. Uh, this is so annoying. Please stop. Yep. Okay. Go. Go at the transporter. He's he's done for now, anyways. Okay. Uh, I think the okay. scanned. MTS is up and running. So let's start in loading. Start loading you up. There we go. Uh, I think I'm struggling for words. Uh, let's see. Here it is. What is this one? Oh, one million. Oh. Not billion. Billion. Uh, but we don't have the electronics, so let's... Uh, oh, come on. And we'll send you out. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is I have two MTSs up and, up and running now, so uh, I'm feeling a lot more safe now. And, yeah, it's gonna go at the... Uh, go at the at the poor transport rover over here uh, like one uh, one time wasn't enough and he's almost there right so the dome beautiful let's uh, just put you over here come on keep going don't stop yeah come on guys work on this one should be enough I know it's scary mr. dust devil might come back oh he's gonna squeeze through Milestone no achieved. No, he didn't. Construct the dome. Okay, let's turn you off. Um, and now let's start building uh, building some homes in here. I uh, forgot to hold down the shift button. So let's uh, make sure they're facing to the middle. And now what we also wanted was... Let's see. Dome services. So infirmary. We could have you maybe over here. Diner. Uh, actually, let's face it this way, so they can, uh, uh, whilst enjoying their lovely meal, they can uh, just uh, enjoy the beautiful view at the same time. So, these two things are up. I need to remember not to block that space over there. And the last thing we need is... Well, not the last, actually. No, we need food as well. What am I getting? Okay, farm. Go. Build this straight away. Okay, 50% here. That's good. We... Are you repaired? Yes, you are. Can you just unload here, please? And... You can go back over there. And maybe... Not maybe. Let's uh, make sure that you bring us more concrete once again. Very beautiful. So first one gave us uh, 500 research points, which means... Uh, we are a little bit closer to dome uh, bioscaping. And that is definitely going to help us quite a bit. Oh, and let's turn off those buildings. Wait, do you have to turn off the buildings if the dome is already off? I can't remember. Um, if you know, let me know. Uh, then I'll know as well. Um... I'm just thinking that, well, maybe I should test it out. I mean, let's see. What do you need for... Okay, I'll leave you on. And let's see if it's going to take... Ah, uh, yeah, it is taking... Actually, even if it's turned off, it seems like it's still going up. So maybe it doesn't matter whether you turn it off or not. I'm not sure. If you know, to uh, educate me as well, please. Okay, uh, I see some more dust devils here, and 
they are gone. <clears throat> Whoa, they are gone. Here we go. There's some waste truck here. From what? Well, maybe something was uneven. And uh, the rest of the buildings. I would like you to build this one first, though. I mean, we still got some time, so not too worried, but just maybe a little bit. Oh, another thing we need is sparks. Let's um, let's put a garden, maybe some alleys in here as well. Let's do a small garden here and nice fountain. What else can we do? Oh, we can do a Research bomb as well. Complete. Oh, that's a big one. Small alleys. Let's do a small one here. Dome bioscaping is done. Uh, fantastic. Let's turn this off. Wait, if we turn this on, does that mean when they arrive, it's already a little bit done and we could get the food faster? Or... Sector because scanned. Anomaly found. Because no one was working here, that means the crop's gonna be f a failure. I'm not entirely sure, so I think I'm not gonna play with food. Wait, where'd you go? I wanted to see the anomaly. Uh, okay, it is over here, so let's let's scan it. And once you are scanned, just, uh, you know... Oh no, wrong button. I was supposed to click shift, but I used control instead. So here we go. And shift click brings you here. After you're done. Uh, okay, 93%. Very close. He's still going, right? Yeah, he is. And he is still bringing, bringing concrete. Uh, I don't know if I said it, but um, I hate always saying he yeah, or, or or she for the for the rovers. I was thinking of yeah, giving them some names as well, but I don't really have. I can't think of anything good. Um, so yeah, if you have any any good ideas or suggestions, um, do leave them down in the down in the comments, and uh, maybe we could uh, give them give our three rovers some uh, interesting names, and uh, so that way we can, you know, make them uh, make it a little bit more personalized, perhaps. Okay, the rocket has finally reached Mars, and here are our very first first few um, colonists so let's turn Miles those buildings on a new beginning yeah okay 250 research points that is new beautiful colonists have arrived. where are they here they are running to the domes do we have anything else that's oh I'm clicking wrong buttons soybeans dome's been turned off what oh yeah oops uh, what else? Let's have one. I just need to check the schedule. So, okay, we've got everyone working here. The and that is are on the brink of dehydrate. Very sad. That is Research very sad news. Complete. T commission protocol. Nice. Okay. Good. I think we've got everything covered now. Average sanity. Why is this one low? Uh, comfort high. Oh, because the dome was turned off, I suppose. Uh, wait, let's see. 61. Well, hopefully it's gonna go up soon, but uh, yeah, should be fine. Uh, where's our Anomaly rocket? Oh, it's analyzed. still going. There's Anomaly. more to the barren environs. Oh, quite a few. So, magnetic fuel generator. So, that's a new wonder. Decreases the loss of atmosphere. Beautiful. Another. I think this one we already had before. Farm automation, farm, hydroponic farm, and fungal farm upgrades decreases number of workers. Now I wish it would say here as well. What does it cost to upgrade for this? Because it's 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 not going to be free, right? Uh, maybe we'll have to look it up for the for the next episode. Uh, plasma cutters that gives us production increase for rare metals. Um, this was I already saw it before. Rover printing, so we can print our own rovers on Mars. And Martian born don't take sanity damage from disasters. That would be very nice to have. Fifteen thousand. Yeah, we're getting to the tier where things are getting very expensive. Well, not expensive, but it's just with the so, um, research production or oh, the research points that we have per soul. It's just gonna be very slow. 
Okay, I think we have enough concrete here now. So you can maybe take the stuff from here. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, comfort's going achieved. For the first time, a hmm. human. Okay, has that doesn't affect us uh, because we can only bring one rocket uh, full of people to. Uh, yeah, can call a passenger rocket only once. Uh, it's one of the settings with the higher difficulty. Uh, and we got another 500 research points, so that is nice. Uh, right, so we are going into those breakthroughs now, which is uh, very cool indeed. And I think Martian Pork gained 10 performance. Uh, it's not going to be very useful for us. What shall we do next? Maybe something in the social tab, if there is anything useful for us. Colonists without the proper specialization suffer a lower work penalty. That might be actually pretty good. And I mean, there's a lot of good stuff here, but like almost everything requires either machine uh, parts or electronics, which we do not have. Now, this is another nice tech as well. Hmm. Okay, well, this should be fine for the time being. And uh, I think over here is a very good time to end the episode as well. So in the next one, we are going to hopefully look at our food production because we have uh, uh, all the food is currently stored in our service buildings. And uh, yeah, and potentially even start uh, seeing if we, once we get some babies and they'll grow up, maybe we'll uh, have to expand into the second dome and then we can start uh, mining some things as well. Um, but yeah, let's call the episode over here and uh, once again, thank you very much for joining and I do hope to see you in the next one.